friends and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm unboxing and reviewing the Model Model Roslyn wig and I got her in a color number OT Mermaid. So before we get into this review, I want to let y'all know I got out of my comfort zone for this review. I wasn't really too comfortable with the cut and the color, but I think I'm kind of feeling it. I feel like somebody's auntie, but I feel like a fly auntie, like the auntie at the cookout. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing first. So your wig is going to come in this little bag. It has everything you pretty much need in it. This wig is like one of the most simplest wigs I have ever gotten whatsoever. There are no combs in it. There's just two little bra straps on either side to make it super, super snug, but there's no comb. There's no extra stuff that you have to do. There's no lace in the front to cut off. It's pretty much a take it out of the box and go kind of wig. So it comes in this little normal wig bag. You pull it out and you're going to see your wig stuffed with some tissue paper and attached to the box with these little plastic security tags. When you take the wig out of the box, you can pop it on your head and you're pretty much ready to go. There's no styling or cutting, like I said, for this particular wig. So let's get into the specs for this wig. This is from Model Model. I was sent this wig for free for review. I'm not being paid for this. I'm being extremely honest with this review. But this is from Model Model and this is the Roslyn wig. This wig comes in over 15 different colors. This is more so one of those like exotic type of wig collections. You're going to find it in a lot of really, really bright and vibrant colors such as oranges, purples, inks, and the collection. So this is one of those like festival ready, not your everyday kind of look kind of wigs. I got mine in OT Mermaid, which is pretty much a blend of blue and turquoise. It has the blue towards the back and then the turquoise towards the front. And the style and cut of this wig is a pixie cut. So it's really short and tapered in the back and on the side. And then it has like this cascading part in the front. As far as security, like I said, this wig does not come with a whole bunch of combs and extra lace. You literally just take it out. It has a DL parting going on the side. It's really, really close to your ears. So it's not in the middle or like a normal side part. It's really, really off to the side. And this does come with two bra straps. The bra straps start from the front and they go all the way to the back. So it makes it lay nice and flat towards the back. The texture of this hair is premium synthetic hair. So to me, it feels like a really, really good blend of synthetic hair. I would have thought that this was like a high quality um, mix or like human hair wig, but this is synthetic. So I don't know. It's a really, really good braid of synthetic though. And the parting is really, really deep and realistic. Like I said, it goes way far back. A lot of times one of the dead giveaways for someone wearing a wig is usually how short the part is. It usually stops towards the front and it's usually the way I personally know if someone's wearing a wig, but this one goes really, really deep to the back. So it looks super realistic. Now this wig, it does say that it can take heat up to 400 degrees. You guys know I do not like to put heat on synthetic wigs at all. I feel like it ruins the hair and the hair is not of an integrity to even take heat, but it says that you can use a heat appliance on it up to 400 degrees. So as far as me and how I style my wig, I pretty much just popped it on. The back of the wig, it has a little tag in the back and I pretty much just use that to figure out where the wig should lay because it's the deep side part. So I took that tag, it's sitting right there in the nape of my head and then I just up the curls a little bit to let them fall a little bit. And then on the sides, I just tuck the rest of the hairs. They kind of lay straight on your ear. I tuck them way behind my ear so it looks like it's like naturally parted that way and it's naturally moving that way. So that's pretty much it. It's like one of the most simplest wigs I've ever tried on to this day. So getting to my pros and cons, I don't have any cons for this wig. It's a pretty simple wig, like I said. I do love it. I love the quality of the hair. I love the color. These days, I'm starting to really, really love colored synthetic wigs. <laughs> They're actually colored correctly. It's not like a blunt color. They kind of like blend the colors in really nice and natural looking. Um, I love the blue towards the back and the brightness in the front. I love the amount of colors that you're able to choose from when it comes to this collection. And it's very, very comfortable. This is probably one of the only wigs that is not making me super uncomfortable. There's no cones in it, so I don't really have any kind of discomfort with this wig. And last but not least, it is a pretty much pop on and go type of wig, so it makes it really easy to fall in love with. You don't have to do a whole bunch of styling. This is great for someone that's just now getting into wigs, don't really know what you're doing because you don't have to do any plucking of the parting cutting off any lace or any kind of extra styling. And then as far as tips and tricks, since I don't have any cons, I would suggest that you braid down your hair or sew down your hair super, super small, tight, or flat. You want this wig to sit really nice and natural looking on your head. If you have a whole bunch of hair like I do, you don't want it to seem super bulky underneath the cap. And as far as the back of your head, y'all know I y'all always complain about the back of my head and how much hair grows back there. You want to make sure the back there is nice and clean so that when the, the wig lays back there, you're not seeing a whole bunch of like naps back there. And last but not least, be sure to use the bra straps for an extra snug or tight fit. Actually, before I got on the, this, this camera, I knew this wig wasn't really sitting right and it was because I didn't use the bra straps. The bra straps really make a difference.
parts and it allows the back to sit nice and flat towards your knee. So I hope you guys enjoyed this wig review. This wig is available from Model Model on several different websites for the highest price, about 20 bucks. It's really, really cheap and affordable. It's a whole bunch of colors to choose from. Um, thank you so much, Model Model, for sending this over to me to review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it and I'll see you guys in my next video.